Welcome to River Network's webinar short, What is a Fundraising Plan? My name is Caroline Bott, and I'm part of River Network's leadership development team. Through these many webinars, we hope to provide River and Watershed Group's best practice tips on organizational development and capacity building skills. So let's dive right in. Simply put, a fundraising plan organizes all of your development activities over a certain period of time, usually a year. Fundraising plans generally include goals and strategies and detail who, what, when, and the cost for each strategy. Most importantly, a fundraising plan helps get everyone within your organization, including staff, volunteers, and board members on the same page, and it gives your team a clear idea of what will be expected of them over that period of time, as well as the anticipated results. Your fundraising plan should be part of a larger organizational planning continuum, beginning with your strategic plan. From your strategic plan, annual work plans for staff and your budget are developed. Finally, your fundraising plan serves as an on-the-ground roadmap detailing how you will allocate your resources to raise funds to meet your goals. This flowchart shows the fundraising plan coming after the development of your budget. However, oftentimes the fundraising plan is developed concurrently with your budgeting process. The key is to have clarity on your goals and activities for the coming year. From there, you can start to develop a clear picture of your expenses and what your fundraising needs and goals are. I want to end by sharing some best management practices for fundraising planning. Your fundraising plan goals need to be SMART, that is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. You should seek to diversify your funding sources, and a good rule of thumb is that no more than a third of your income should come from any one source or category of funding. You need to weigh the predictability of the funding source, that is, how likely you are to get the funding, with the flexibility of the funding. Are there any restrictions on how the money can be used? You should choose strategies that maximize your return on investment, meaning you want strategies that produce the most income with the least expense. A good rule of thumb is that the strategy should bring in twice what it costs. Plans are typically developed by staff with input from the board development committee. Once developed, the plan should be approved by the full board to ensure the board's commitment to the plan and its implementation. Finally, staff and the board development committee should review the plan regularly to ensure activities and goals are on target and adjust the plan when and where necessary. Key performance indicators such as donation growth, donor retention, and conversion rates are a great way to evaluate your plan year over year. River Network's leadership development team is able to provide assistance in helping you develop and implement your fundraising program, as well as provide consulting on a broad range of organizational development and capacity building needs. For more information, visit our website. And thanks for watching.